Okay, guys, I am um reading my word. Remember, I told y'all I had to read it in the bed. Um, the word for today in our uh, the daily calling book for April 9th. You are mine for all time. Nothing can separate you from my love. Since I have invested my very life in you, be well assured that I will also take care of you. Yes, Jesus. When your mind goes into neutral and your thoughts flow freely, you tend to feel anxious and alone. Your focus becomes problem solving. To get your mind back into gear, just turn towards me, bringing yourself and your problems into my presence. Mm. Many problems vanish instantly in the light of my love because you realize you are never alone. Only problems may remain, but they become secondary to knowing me and rejoicing in the relationship I so freely offer you. Each moment you can choose to practice my presence or to practice the presence of problems, okay? For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 and 39. Okay. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Exodus 33, 14. Amen. Yes. Okay. The next book I've already read in my Bible, which was what I showed yesterday. The Daily Walk Bible. And now we're going to read this one. The Illustrated Words of Jesus of Women. For women. <laughs> Get it right, Londa, girl. Get it right. Get it right, girl. April 9th, guard your heart. This is our word. Guard your heart. You may know all the Christian things to say and even be pretty good about guarding your speech so that those godly things come out most often. But at some point, what's really going on in your heart will come out in what you say. Yeah, unfortunately. Your words have the power to wound and damage others. Remember that, y'all. Jesus said that the words that fly out of your mouth show what kind of stuff is going on in your heart. Oh, you hear that? Jesus said that the words that fly out of your mouth show what kind of stuff is going on in your heart. Hold up. Let me highlight that. Because that is something to really meditate on. You know? Where is my highlighter at? That's why I need to be in my prayer room where everything is organized. Uh, okay, anyway, I have it. I'm going to have to do it later because I don't know where it went. Okay. Uh, where was I at? Okay. If you're selfish, mean-spirited, and prideful, then all of that stuff will show by the words you speak to others. Say what? Clean up your heart and your words will clean up too. Clean up your heart and your words will clean up too. There's no need to be evil and mean. And just disrespectful and just spiteful and all of that. Clean up your heart. Oh my gosh, I love that. The things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart. And these defile them. Defile them. Matthew fifteen eighteen. Y'all hear that? Dear Father, I'm embarrassed by some of the words that slide so easily from my lips. I like to think you don't hear them. But I know that isn't true. Forgive me, Father. Reveal the places in my heart that need to be cleaned. The places these words grew from. Ooh, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, oh, man, that is deep right there. Okay. This is my, the couple's book. Listen up, babe. This is the couple's book. 
The model of marriage. Join together in following my examples, brothers and sisters, and just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. Philippians 3.17 No matter how long you've been married, your love can teach a lesson to everyone. The truth of the word is shown in your wise conversations. Your hospitality your hospitality and giving show God's generosity. Your unity reflects the oneness of Christ and the church. Your affection and self-sacrifice display the heart of Jesus. Your trust in God to provide challenges others to believe his promises. Faithfulness and sexual purity reveal God's holiness to all who know you. Be encouraged knowing your marriage is a ministry to others today. Pray for your relationship to shine the light of Christ. Ask him to make you an example of obedience for others to follow. Seek him for wisdom to know which way to go. Depend on him for greater love and grace towards each other each day. Trust him to use you to lead others to save in faith in Jesus. Lord, let our marriage please you in every way. Use our love to reveal your truth and goodness to everyone. Amen. Amen. That was a good word for today, y'all. That was a bomb. Especially in this illustrated uh, words of Jesus for women. That, oof. That man is the bomb. Babe, can you please spray? For real? Yes. This is inside, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Turn that light off for me, mama. Yes, this is what I'm watching, y'all. <laughs> right, yeah. Right here on the TV, by the TV in the living room. Tired. <laughs> As always, you know she always got to go overboard, huh? And my eyes is so freaking. y'all have a blessed night and um, I hope that everybody has a good night's rest and everybody sleep good and have good dreams because that is very important for a good night's sleep to have good dreams so I just pray y'all have a blessed night in Jesus name